Hello Superhero and welcome back to Plants for Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be checking out the Feast of His 2017 pack. Of course you may know that the holidays are over. I hope you guys got everything you wanted during the holiday season and New Year's but as you can see the Feast of His pack 2017 contains 5 Feast of His items and is 40,000 coins. So that's actually pretty expensive but it should have some new items that we don't have. Of course, unfortunately, I wasn't too active when it comes to Feast of Us this year, but I know that there's always a pack available, so hopefully it'll be worth a while. I have over 900,000 coins to spend, so hopefully I don't have to spend all of them, because of course you might know that Rox is coming up next week and the week after and the week after, but we'll just get to opening. We can see we have the Gifted Boxer Bot, the Candy Cane Shoot, the Elf Pea, the Caroling Lights, and the Eggnog Glasses. Now, I'm not too excited for these, not because they aren't awesome, but because I already have them. If you don't know, they were available last year as well, but they are still very cool bots and pots. I like to have them. And we also get the Karen Lane lights for the cactus and the eggnog glasses for the engineer. That's a lot of coins for only two customizables. I'm not really sure how happy I am with that. And okay, it's a little bit better this time. We at least get a variety. We get the bell breaker bot, the elf pea, the feast of his weed, the tree topper, and the hand bell. So something for the pea shooter, something for the sunflower. Very good. If we keep going though, I'm just gonna keep spending until it seems like we've got everything. It should stop giving us customizations once we have everything, but the Feast of Us seemed like it had some pretty good items this year, but also nothing mind dropping or mind blowing. I mean, I would love to hear what are your favorite, favorite Feast of Us items. We've got another cactus item here, the Snowflake Patch, and the Jingle Teeth for the Chomper. That's actually, I like that one, that was pretty cute. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was sort of your average holiday event, just like last year's and like, uh, the Halloween event, it's nothing crazy. We got the Starry Night for the Soldier, that one's pretty cool. And the wrapping paper for the Colonel Corn. Now once again, these items are different from the 2016 Feast of Us. There was a 2016 Feast of Us pack available throughout Feast of Us, but it's a little too late to get it now. Maybe next year, I don't know. Frosty Snowflakes for the Rose, and then the Candy Cane Glasses for the Captain Deadbeard. But yeah, I got, I'm pretty sure I got every single Feast of Us item last year, so I don't really have to worry about that too much, but regardless, we're just still getting two items at a time. That just sort of seems like it, how it works. We got the green stripes. I guess it's sort of supposed to look like a present. And then we got the tinsel mustache. If you didn't tell me that was Christmas related, I wouldn't have guessed. So I don't really like that one too much when it comes, or I guess holiday related. Unless I'm missing something. It's a reference to something I'm missing. But that one's probably my least favorite so far. Uh, ooh, okay. These are pretty good. We have the missile stash and the stocking beard. I really do like the stocking beard, that's a good one. But it seems like there are two items per character, which makes me really wish that I actually did more Feast of Us so I could save on some coins here, but that's too late. Actually, no, this is our third cactus item, so I'm totally wrong with that. We got the present hat and the antler headband. I was not going into this expecting to uh, spend over 900,000 coins, so hopefully it doesn't come to that, but we'll find out. I do also like the little jingle noise that happens when you open a pack, that's nice. But we got the holiday globes, those are actually really cool. I like that. And we got the blue holly wrap. That one's okay, doesn't really mess well, mesh well with uh, Citron's orange. Maybe on a, uh, uh, an extra Citron, that'd look even better. All right, let's open up another one. What are we gonna get? Ooh, oh, another one of those green and yellow stripes. I mean, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe about the other December holidays or something green and yellow specifically, I'm not sure. We also get the cookie goggles, I like those. Uh, let's open up another one. So we're almost already halfway through all my coins, which is not good. Like I said, we got three Ruxes this month I need to save up, which means I just get to stream more of the game, which is good. Uh, Frosty Beard and the Holiday Crackers. So these aren't too bad. Um, I do like the Holiday Crackers. The Frosty Beard's pretty good as well. It looks like he tried to eat the snowman. Poor, poor Frosty, but <laughs> that's the way of the zombie world, right? Uh, we got the Gift Wrap for the Chomper. That's not too bad. And the Ribbon Monocle. That, was, that one's okay. But this one will look cool with the Christmas Teeth. I think that'll look really nice. The jingle teeth. Let's open up this. What are we gonna get in here? Ooh, okay. Some decent stuff. We have the tree lights headband and the garland monocle. So two monocles in a row, or in two pack openings, but two rose items. That's pretty cool. Yeah, now we're definitely halfway through our coins and it seems like there's just more to get. I'm really getting nervous. I think we'll be able to get all of it, but I'll have to spend most of my coins, or at least get really close. We got the gift tags and the ornament eyes. These look painful, but also pretty cool. And the gift tags are okay. I'm not really wild about that one, but it might mesh well with the other Chomper customizables. So, so far it's looking like there are three Christmas or holiday stuff related to each one. So we got the poinsettia eyes. I'm not sure what a poinsettia is. Obviously a type of flower, but what it has to do with 
the holidays, I'm not sure. And we got the sock mask. That one looks cozy. I like that one. All right, let's keep opening more and more until I'm all out of coins. We have a little less than 10 to go through with my coins currently. We got the starry eyes, so he's getting a ton of eyes. And we got the green snowflakes. I'm actually uh, a little surprised by how many customizable there really are. Usually there aren't this many. Okay, we got a couple more here. We have the cookie pile, I like that. And we got the red stripes. I feel like I got the cookie pile, but I guess I'm wrong. Um, I know I, I got a couple of Feast of His stuff, and I figure after this, we'll go through, we'll show off all the Feast of His stuff that we have, but for now, we got the Candy Cane Swirl and the Warm Mitten Hat. Maybe I didn't get every Feast of His item last year, and it's just also adding that stuff in? I wouldn't think so. But we got the Ribbon Mustache. <laughs> I like the little uh, piece of the tree that comes with it. And the uh, Red and Green Glitter, that one's okay. It doesn't really look like glitter, but uh, maybe it's just the lighting. 200,000 coins left to spend after this, not much. Uh, the Flurry, that one's okay. And the Piney, I like that one too. Those are some cool uh, tattoos there. So a lot of items, a lot of items. Now we have the Colonel Corn's Popcorn Eyes. That one's okay. And we got the Plaid Pattern. That one's pretty nice for the pea shooter. Oh, please tell me I have enough coins to get all these. This is a lot. Like, this is a lot. We got the uh, gift box glasses and the ginger beard, both for the super brains. Those are pretty good. Let's go ahead and do our second to last one. I was gonna say last one, but I was wrong. I did my math wrong. I'm pretty sure this was from last year. So yeah, it looks like it might be, like, I mean, I've definitely seen this hat before. Stocking hat, and we got the cookie face. So, one last pack for Feast of Us. Hopefully this gets us pretty close to all of them, if not all of them, but we get a couple more things here. We get another cape for the rose, the red warp, and the reindeer. I like that one for the cactus. So I don't think I've gotten every Feast of this item, so definitely make sure you're paying attention with the next couple of like Guard of Warfare 2 episodes. Maybe I'll be able to open up uh, a couple more throughout the episodes when I earn up enough coins. But I'll quickly try to go through and check out all of the Feast of this stuff we now have. I mean, we have a lot of holiday stuff at this point, but we got the holiday tree hat, I think that's from last year, and we got the warm mitten hat, I really like that. Um, if we go to our accessories, uh, we have the snow goggles and the holiday crackers. For the facial hair here, we have the shiny gift wrapped beard. That one's actually, I like that one. That don't mix well with the glitter, which is right here. So we have the red and green glitter, glitter, ah, glitter and they never have holiday weapons, unfortunately. But like, we could definitely holiday him out with like something like this and like that, and of course that. I like that, actually looks really cool. So yeah, we'll try to make everybody all holidayed out. I think that's a fun way to do it. Uh, for the Super Brains, we have the, the yeah, this is from last year, so we didn't get a new one from this year. So I won't equip that just yet, just because I wanna see what we have here. We got the Jingle Eyes and the Gift Box Glasses, so we got two of them. I do like the Gift Box Glasses a little bit better. I feel like they're just a little bit more interesting to look at. Um, here we have the gingerbread beard and the tree band. Oh, that mixes really well color-wise, even though I like this customization more. They're both fine. Um, and here we have the green stripes. So that is a lot of green. We could also do big snowflake. This was from last year, I'm almost positive. Or at least for me it was. But yeah, definitely let me know what your favorite Christmas, holiday, you know, whatever uh, holiday event customizations you like out of this one. I would love to hear. But yeah, this one was from last year. This is a tin box hat. Actually, no, this might have been from the Frontline Fighters uh, thing. <laughs> the Frontline Fighters uh, Christmas pack sort of had something like this in it. But we also had the Re Reindeer Antlers. I'm pretty sure that's from last year as well. Oh well, uh, we'll do this one. I like this one better. Um, and then we had the Winter Eye Muffs, the Candy King glasses, and then some non-holiday stuff. So. Ooh, hard to choose. Oh, I like these better, because this helps me include the uh, the antlers. Here we only have one thing, the tinsel mustache, better than nothing. Here we have the green snowflakes, for whatever reason, and then that's it. That's a weird looking Captain Deadbeard. Really, really weird, but he definitely looks all suited up for the holidays. Too bad he's a little late. Um, For the, uh, let's uh, clear that out. We don't, oh, okay, so we do have the antler headband. That's pretty cool, actually. It looks like that's all we got for uh, the soldier when it comes to his headpiece. We got a couple different eyes. This is from last year for sure, the lumps of coal. Then we have the ornament eyes. They still look super painful. He, they move around like eyes too. Ooh, that's creepy. And then we have the starry eyes. I mean, these sort of look silly. Like there's, you know, obviously they're just stars on the eyes. I think I do like the ornament eyes a little bit better in the situation. Uh, for the facial hair, we have the stocking mustache, 
and that's it. So, stocking mustache it is. And then for the tattoos, we have the Starry Night and the Winter Trees from last year. I do think the Starry Night looks really cool, but I do like the bright and colorfulness of the Winter Trees, no matter what, it's all good. So yeah, there's that. Uh, what's gonna take us a couple minutes to get through everything, isn't it? Uh, let us go ahead and clear this. Uh, we have the popcorn, popcorn event. I think this is the first Feast of His 2017 item we got, and then the Holiday Bell. The candy apple was from Halloween. So, popcorn ornament it is, because it can show us off, you know, we can show off other accessories as well. Uh, hmm. So we have the gingerbread glasses, the eggnog glasses, and that's it. Okay, so, oh, those look cool. And these look cool too. I do think I like these better. It sort of mixes better with the food theme we got going on so far too. We got the frosty beard, and that's it. So, frosty beard it is. And then tattoos, we have the snowflake swirl, which was from last year for sure. And then the piney. Which, the piney is pretty cool. I don't think it mixes well with this. I think this definitely fits better, but the piney is still a very cool tattoo. Okay, so for the scientist, we have to clear that and do, does he have any? He has an elf hat from last year and then the gingerbread head. I think I like the elf hat. I know that he had this, the stocking mask, which mixes pretty darn well with it. In the facial hair department, we have the missile nose and the ribbon mustache. I think I like the missile nose better for this. And then for the tattoos, we have the flurry, which was last year's, and then the cookie face. The cookie face, I think, actually mixes a little bit better. I like the cookie face. Look at that. That's actually maybe my favorite combo of uh, Feast of His customizations yet. So now for uh, the, so not the soldier, the all-star, we have a couple things, I think. This, I think, is Feast of His, the nugget noggin. Maybe it's... Not hard to tell, but we also got the uh, ornament helmet, which was from last year for sure. I'll equip that because I'm not sure about the nugget noggin. We also have just a ribbon monocle that does mix well color wise, though. We got the stocking beard, but you can't equip other things, which totally stinks. And it's the only one we have for this one. Uh, I'll just not keep it equipped for now. And then finally, we have the green and yellow, which once again doesn't exactly mix. I mean, I guess it's okay. I mean, yellow matches well with red, and green matches with green, so. At the end of the day, I think it's okay. <laughs> and that's all for the zombies. We can move over to the Citron now, where we can uh, do the cookie pile or the ornament head from last year. And we'll do the cookie pile since it's new. And then we got the eggnog goggles, but they don't mix with that, unfortunately. And that's the only uh, Christmas accessory we have. Here we have the missile stash, and that's it. So not too much for the Citron. We have the blue holly wrap, and once again, that's it. Hmm, okay, not the best amount of combinations, but hey, surely better than nothing, right? And then for the rose, we definitely got a lot of rose stuff. So we got the tree lights headband. That's it for the head. Okay, maybe not too much. But we got the garland monocle, which mixes really well. The candy cane specs, which I also like. And those are the only two here. Those are definitely from last year, I think. Um, we'll do the garland monocle. And for the organics, I know we have the candy cane, but now we have the holiday globes. Which I think that if we were going for the candy cane glasses, we should go for this as, as well. But uh, for right now, we'll do this. I think that's a good combo. And then we do have two different capes. We have the red wrap, and then we have the frosty snowflake. So I think that, I mean, that doesn't mix perfectly. I do like the red wrap better with the normal rose, but if this was frost rose, definitely the frosty snowflakes would look really cool. But there's the rose, and then the kernel corn should have plenty of stuff, I'm pretty sure. Um, we got the star hat from last year and the bulb head, which I think was from the Frontline Fighters pack. Um, I do like both of them. We'll keep with the bulb head for now so that we can see the accessories. We had the cookie shades from last year and the popcorn eyes from this year. And for the organics, we have the popcorn trees, I think from last year, the wrapping paper from this year. I like both of them, but I do like the wrapping paper. And then finally, we have the plaid gift wrap and the red stripes. I'm pretty sure the red stripes were from this year and plaid from last year. And they don't exactly mix together well, but individually they're cool items. Okay, let's clear this guy, a pea shooter, and then we got the uh, tree topper, which is this year. Polka dot child, no, those are from Easter, I think. And we got the mistletoe. The mistletoe really ain't much, it's hard to notice. So I do like the tree topper a little bit better. I don't like how it gets rid of his little back leaves, like the back of his head. Like, I don't really think that's necessary. I think it would look better with them. We got the Ponzietta eyes, and that's it. Um. We got the Tree Lights Organics or the Candy Canes. I think both of these are old. Um, we'll keep with the Candy Canes. And for the tattoos, we have the Red Present and the Plaid Pattern, and that was from this year. They're fine, no matter what. 
I don't know, it seems like they do have more things per slot. Like usually I think last year they focused mostly on hats, while this time they focused on having one thing per slot. Now we got the big red ribbon and that's it for the chomper. Here we have the jingle teeth or the candy teeth. I think, yeah, this is from last year probably. And this is from this year. I like the jingle teeth. And then we also have the gift tags. They mix pretty well, especially when we have the gift wrap tattoo. So that seems to be, oh, and there's also the mistletoe collar. That actually mixes really well as well. That was, I think, from last year. I do like that even better. That's a pretty cool holiday chomper right there. And then we have the sunflower, second to last character we need to show off here. So we have what we just saw there. This is the antler hat. I'm pretty sure this is last year's, but now we got the stocking hat, which I swear I've seen before, so I'm pretty sure it isn't new. You can equip an accessory with this one, so we'll keep with the antler hat. It's a cute one anyways. We got the reindeer specs, which match so well and are so adorable. We also have the cookie goggles, which also are pretty well fitting. We'll stick with the reindeer specs. They're so cute. Look at our red little nose. Ah, I love it. We got the ornament gloves, which were definitely from last year, but we also have the handbells. I think they look fine, but I do like these a little bit better, but we'll keep with these. I mean, it does mix with our color a little bit better. We got the gingerbread flower, which is sort of creepy, and that's it. Okay, well, I guess we're keeping with that. Not bad, though. That's actually very cool looking sunflower right there. And then finally, the last one we have is a cactus. We have the present hat, and that is the only holiday hat we have. First, she looks like a mayor, mayor of Holiday Town. Snowflake patch, so that's another eye patch, but unfortunately, it covers up the hat. So, oh, this doesn't, this is, oh, that's not a holiday item. Well, I don't think this is better than the hat, so we'll keep it off for now. She has the caroling lights, which actually makes really well. And then finally, we have the reindeer or the candy cane swirl. Both of them look really cool. I'm pretty sure this is from last year, but I don't know why I got it now. But well, the reindeer also looks cool. Doesn't mix well with this, so I think that is a very cool looking cactus. Cactus might take the cake for me when it comes to the coolest holiday looking combination we can get, but I would love to hear about your holiday combinations for the Feast of His items, your thoughts on Feast of His 2017, your hopes for next year, and if you were able to get all the Feast of His items. For me, I think the answer is no for now, but I'll keep trying to earn enough coins in the meantime. But for now, Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Feast of a Zebra so only you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.